Chapter 4 And in the third week in the second jubilee, sixty-four to seventy a.m., she gave birth to Cain, and in the fourth, seventy-one to seventy-seven a.m., she gave birth to Abel, and in the fifth, seventy-eight to eighty-four a.m., she gave birth to her daughter, Awan. In the first year of the third jubilee, ninety-nine to one hundred five a.m., Cain slew Abel, because God accepted the sacrifice of Abel, and did not accept the offering of Cain. And he slew him in the field, and his blood cried from the ground to heaven, complaining, because he had slain him. And the Lord reproved Cain because of Abel, because he had slain him, and made him a fugitive on the earth because of the blood of his brother, and he cursed him upon the earth. And on this account it is written on the heavenly tables, Cursed is he who strikes his neighbor treacherously, and let all who have seen and heard say, So be it. And the man who has seen and not declared it, let him be accursed as the other. And for this reason we announce when we come before the Lord our God all the sin which is committed in heaven and on earth, and in light and in darkness and everywhere. And Adam and his wife mourned for Abel four weeks of years, ninety-nine to one hundred twenty-seven a.m., and in the fourth year of the fifth week, one hundred thirty a.m., they became joyful, and Adam knew his wife again, and she bore him a son, and he called his name Seth. For he said, God has raised up a second seed to us on the earth instead of Abel, for Cain slew him. And in the sixth week, 134 to 40 a.m., he begat his daughter, Azura. And Cain took Awan, his sister, to be his wife, and she bore him Enoch at the close of the fourth jubilee, 190 to 196 a.m. And in the first year of the first week of the fifth jubilee, 197 a.m., houses were built on the earth, and Cain built a city and called its name after the name of his son, Enoch. And Adam knew Eve his wife, and she bore him yet nine sons. And in the fifth week of the fifth jubilee, 225 to 31 a.m., Seth took Azura his sister to be his wife. And in the fourth year of the sixth week, 235 a.m., she bore him Enosh. He began to call on the name of the Lord on the earth, and in the seventh jubilee, in the third week, 309 to 15 a.m., Enosh took Noam, his sister, to be his wife. And she bore him a son in the third year of the fifth week, and he called his name Canaan. And at the close of the eighth jubilee, 325, 386 to 3992 a.m., Canaan took Mualalith, his sister, to be his wife. And she bore him a son in the ninth jubilee, in the first week of the third year of this week, 395 a.m., and he called his name Mahalalel. And in the second week of the tenth jubilee, 449 to 55 a.m., Mahalalel took to him to wife Dinah, the daughter of Barachiel, the daughter of his father's brother. And she bore him a son in the third week of the sixth year, 461 a.m., and he called his name Jared. For in his days the angels of the Lord descended on the earth, those who are named the Watchers, that they should instruct the children of men, and that they should do judgment and uprightness on the earth. And in the eleventh jubilee, 512 to 18 a.m., Jared took to himself a wife, and her name was Baraka, the daughter of Razajal, a daughter of his father's brother, in the fourth week of this jubilee, 522 a.m. And she bore him a son in the fifth week, in the fourth year of the jubilee. And he called his name Enoch. And he was the first among men that are born on earth who learned writing and knowledge and wisdom, and who wrote down the signs of heaven according to the order of their months in a book, that men might know the seasons of the years according to the order of their separate months. And he was the first to write a testimony, and he testified to the sons of men among the generations of the earth, 
and recounted the weeks of the jubilees, and made known to them the days of the years, and set in order the months, and recounted the sabbaths of the years, as we made them known to him. And what was and what will be he saw in a vision of his sleep, as it will happen to the children of men throughout their generations, until the day of judgment. And he saw and understood everything, and wrote his testimony, and placed the testimony on earth for all the children of men and for their generations. And in the twelfth jubilee, 582 to 88, in the seventh week thereof, he took to himself a wife, and her name was Edna, the daughter of Daniel, the daughter of his father's brother, and in the sixth year of this week, 587 a.m., she bore him a son, and he called his name Methuselah. And he was, moreover, with the angels of God these six jubilees of years, and they showed him everything which is on earth and in the heavens, the rule of the sun, and he wrote down everything. And he testified to the watchers who had sinned with the daughters of men, for these had begun to unite themselves so as to be defiled with the daughters of men, and Enoch testified against them all. And he was taken from amongst the children of men, and we conducted him into the garden of Eden in majesty and honor. And behold, there he writes down the condemnation and judgment of the world and all the wickedness of the children of men. And on account of it, God brought the waters of the flood upon all the land of Eden. For there he was set as a sign, and that he should testify against all the children of men, that he should recount all the deeds of the generations until the day of condemnation. And he burnt the incense of the sanctuary, even sweet spices acceptable before the Lord on the mount. For the Lord has four places on the earth, the Garden of Eden, and the mount of the east, and this mountain on which you are this day, Mount Sinai, and Mount Zion, which will be sanctified in the new creation for a sanctification of the earth. Through it will the earth be sanctified from all its guilt and its uncleanness throughout the generations of the world. And in the fourteenth jubilee, 652 a.m., Methuselah took to himself a wife, Edna, the daughter of Azrael, the daughter of his father's brother, in the third week in the first year of this week, 701 to 7 a.m. And he begat a son and called his name Lamech. And in the fiftieth jubilee, in the third week, Lamech took to himself a wife, and her name was Betanus, the daughter of Barakil, the daughter of his father's brother. And in this week she bore him a son, and he called his name Noah, saying, This one will comfort me for my trouble and all my work and for the ground which the Lord has cursed. And at the close of the nineteenth jubilee, in the seventh week, in the sixth year, 9.30 a.m., thereof Adam died. And all his sons buried him in the land of his creation, and he was the first to be buried in the earth. And he lacked seventy years of one thousand years. For one thousand years are as one day in the testimony of the heavens. And therefore was it written concerning the tree of knowledge, On the day that you eat thereof you shall die. For this reason he did not complete the years of this day, for he died during it. At the close of this jubilee, Cain was killed after him in the same year, for his house fell upon him, and he died in the midst of his house, and he was killed by its stones. For with a stone he had killed Abel, and by a stone was he killed in righteous judgment. For this reason it was ordained on the heavenly tablets, with the instrument with which a man kills his neighbor, with the same shall he be killed after the manner that he wounded him, in like manner shall they deal with him. And in the twenty-fifth, twelve o five a.m., Jubilee, Noah took to himself a wife, and her name was Emzara, the daughter of Rachel, the daughter of his father's brother, in the first year 
in the fifth week, 1207 a.m. And in the third year thereof she bore him Shem. In the fifth year thereof, 1209 a.m., she bore him Ham. And in the first year, in the sixth week, 1212 a.m., she bore him Japheth.